I think, in a way, Seeker as a title refers to two different aspects. The first is to do with the process, because I have a strong feeling that in the studio, I need almost on a daily basis to be searching, looking for new possibilities. I feel as if Seeker applies very much to the, the daily practice of painting in the studio. One that is nurturing, one that is investigating, rather than making statements. The notion of seeker is also one of being a little bit curious, maintaining that curiosity throughout one's life, not becoming too set in one way of working, but to be open to other possibilities as much as possible. I think what the Surrealists were keen to do was to find various different methods as a way in to the unconscious. And an artist such as Max Ernst, who I, I like very much as a Surrealist, who was very inventive in terms of his methodologies, I think still influenced me, um, particularly when I was working with the, the still life method, um, the way in which I combined the notion of improvisation an experiment with more concrete photographic references was by having photocopies of certain images and explore using my hands, using different implements, being inventive with the process. But once I'd begun to use the graphite, I realized that actually it allowed me access to some of those aspects of surrealism that I'd always really enjoyed. I think most importantly, probably, it often offered me an imaginative freedom that was not constrained by color associations, historical color associations, and also literal color associations. So that when I was applying black and white, a form could become fire and immediately transform into water without me having to change the color. It was a much more elegant and beautiful transition made available through the monochrome. It's always been very important for me to spend time in the process, allowing the ideas to sink into the process. So it was important for me to have a studio in the city and to be able to work through the ideas that um, emerged through being in this new situation. And I became, through living in, in Taiwan, I became aware of Taiwan as itself a kind of cultural amalgam for historical and contemporary culture that involved uh, conversations with the West, with the East, with China, with Japan, and also trying to forge its own identity as a co country in itself. And this seemed like quite a good place to begin a dialogue with uh, Taiwan as well for, for similar reasons. Taiwan is in a, um, this political situation that is kind of fluid and in discussion all of the time. And I was trying to empathize with everyone around me in, in Taiwan that I was talking to about the situation, trying to understand what it would be like to be currently in a situation that was somewhat um, comparable to the time of the, the Dutch Empire. And therefore, in terms of the vase that I used in Taiwan, I kind of introduced a possible situation of conflict through the use of helicopters, for example, in this situation, whereby a kind of military presence is causing destruction to the, the cultural tradition, how culture can participate in a political dialogue, and also how it can be damaged by that as well, it became part of the theme for the work that I made in Taipei. And then the final um, series of, of much smaller works uh, refer all the way back to the period spent in India over 20 years ago when the graphite process first emerged um, and these uh, final works refer to some miniature paintings that I collected whilst I was in India. The notion of a yogi retiring from society to a place of contemplation which seemed to me to be a little like my situation of returning to the studio and thinking about the experiences that I'd had. But in the final series, the yogi has an audience that continually comes to listen to his reflections. So there's a kind of irony in this too. 
So the exhibition as a whole incorporates a number of different cultures because the, the use of the graphite monochrome allows the cultures to kind of peacefully uh, speak to one another in a calm dialogue that isn't conflicting but is more open to connections between the different possibilities as individual artists that comes into play and will have its say but also the this notion of openness to discovery um, allows the cultural references to quite quietly come into dialogue with one another I hope in the exhibition and that's perhaps the aspect that I'd like the audience most of all to take away from it.